Hello, my name is Gerard Krause. I'm with the Helmholtz Center for Infection Research in Braunschweig in Germany. I'm a medical epidemiologist. And I remember very well when the Berlin Fall fell, I had just arrived in Ecuador to start the field study for my PhD. And it was actually a cab driver who told me about it and I first didn't want to believe him. As a young child, I wanted to become a sailor and to discover new islands. Now I'm not a sailor, but I'm still discovering a lot of things in my work. The project that we work on is called SORMAS and stands for Surveillance Outbreak Response Management and Analysis System. And it addresses a very important challenge in outbreak control and pandemic control. If you have to control a pandemic, there's multiple actors that need to be put together, like physicians, laboratory technicians, epidemiologists, nurses, field officers, national directors, international institutions, and so on and so forth. And they all have their different tasks and they all need the information from all the other parts in order to progress rapidly and to implement their measures as effectively as possible. And this is what we address through SORMAS because we make it possible that all those people use the same process management tool that helps them guide them through the work, but also helps them getting the information from the others that they need. And by that, they have the information more rapidly and also the data is more specific and more sensitive and allows earlier and better risk assessment for the management of outbreaks or also of the pandemic. One of the innovative features of SORMAS is that we have developed a new technology that allows remote synchronization of databases even if you do not have internet connectivity. And that permits us to use the system even in very remote areas of the world. With SORMAS, we have now new findings. We are able to demonstrate and analyze the transmission chains even if they are very complex. For example, here you see red dots being cases in Nigeria, green dots being contact persons of those cases. And we can analyze those, we can zoom in, we can analyze the connection and then implement measures to interrupt those transmission chains. SOMAS already now has a huge impact in the containment of the pandemic. More than six countries with a total of more than 200 million people living in those countries are already benefiting from SORMAS because it is being used already in the containment of the COVID pandemic. Uh, the COVID specific module was applied and activated even before the first cases of COVID-19 appeared in Africa. And moreover, SORMAS is not only a pandemic containment tool for COVID, SORMAS has been in place before for the control of other epidemic prone diseases and has proven its effectiveness to contain meningococcal disease outbreak, Lassa fever outbreaks, and also monkeypox outbreaks. Well, actually, I have the fortune to be able to sleep very well. But what keeps us busy in our team is how to integrate SORMAS and other existing tools. We don't want un to unnecessarily replace other systems, but we want to integrate them. And we are already doing that, for example, with the internationally known system DHIS2. And therefore, we allow to provide the services of SORMAS complementary to the existing systems, avoiding for people to have to change systems if it's not necessary. But those technical interfaces are quite sophisticated and keeping them aligned and keeping them working is uh, not a simple task to do.